Welcome back guys. Uh, in this video I thought I'd talk a little bit about Debian. Now last uh, video I did on Debian Jesse I gave you the information on that uh, on how to tweak uh, Debian Jesse things that I normally do after the install. When I went through the um, NVIDIA and the Broadcom uh, I gave you some instructions and now this install that you're looking at right now <clears throat> I just did last night uh, it is Debian Jesse stable I, I, I follow the same process that I did within the show notes of the last video so for example if I pull up um, Let's see. Let me pull up the show notes. Be a little bit easier if I do that. And okay, so things to do. So remember where when I did the NVIDIA, I put sudo apt-get install NVIDIA driver, NVIDIA settings, NVIDIA xconfig, and then run sudo NVIDIA xconfig and reboot. <clears throat> That's what I did on this video on this install that you're looking at and it worked fine and with Broadcom basically I just um, entered the command sudo apt get install Broadcom dash sta dash dkms and that installed Broadcom correctly so all of these uh, show notes I tested and everything was fine However, what I wanted to bring to your attention is that Debian, for some reason, if I, if I do a search on Debian NVIDIA drivers, on June 15th, 2016, a couple weeks ago, uh, they put out <coughs> information, excuse me, on installing NVIDIA. So if I bring up that website, uh, they, they give you Debian Jesse, <coughs> Wheezy, <coughs> basically giving you information. If you wanted a later version, 352.79, you can do it through Jesse Backports. Uh, I didn't do that. <coughs> so I have 340.96. So if I go into NVIDIA and I pull up, you'll see I have... 34096 because I just did the standard Jesse and I did it following the directions I gave you however this new um, wiki has different uh, install instructions so if you look under Debbie and Jesse you'll see that for Jesse backports you have to add the sources um, and then you will run this app get install command or if you're already using a Linux kernel from Jesse backports you'll run this command and then install Jesse backports Nvidia driver so it gives you the option for a later version if you just want to do the Debian Jesse uh, as I stated in my video, you need to add contrib and non-free to your sources. And basically they give you this uh, line to add to your sources. And then, you, of course you want to do update, but they're using aptitude versus apt-get. I used apt-get, but I did not use this command. I uh, used the commands that I gave you in my vi last video. Here they're basically telling you to update your headers and then install the NVIDIA kernel. Now it says this will also install the NVIDIA driver package and then you'll need to you'll still need to to do the um, uh, NVIDIA X config command. 
So what I'm saying is that in my last video, <clears throat> my instructions were very simple. And they were according to the prior Debian uh, instructions. But now as of the 16th, they're making a little bit of a change. I wanted to make you aware of that because some people are having trouble with the original commands. Now, as I said, this install that you're looking at was done with the standard commands that I gave you before. However, um, if you have problems, you can always f come to this website and do the either the backports install or the standard install and you'll this should work also now I haven't tested this because I'm I'm running fine uh, but I'm assuming that since Debian put this out they have tested it now for Broadcom they have an update as of June 5th now my Broadcom on this install was a simple sudo apt-get install Broadcom dash sta dash dkms now as of june 5th they're saying that for these broadcom cards which is mine is the bcm 4360 installation is you have to add non-free and then you'll do app get update and you're going to install the linux image the headers and the drivers in this one command now it's saying it's also going to install the wireless tools package then it's telling you you need to unload conflicting modules and then load the WL module well the the command that I use sudo apt-get install broadcom-sta-dkms does all this but again, if you run into problems, you've got this as a fallback. Now also, I got a question on uh, adjusting the brightness. After you, you install your uh, Debian, dri your NVIDIA drivers, if you want to adjust your brightness, and it if it doesn't work, you want to read through, you know, the if you do a Google search you can pull up this information and a lot most if not all of what you'll need is here now I understand that my videos probably explain this spl explain these steps in a little bit clearer fashion uh, but in this case for the brightness if you go down to troubleshooting you'll see that if you can't change the screen brightness open your XORG configuration file that's where it is <clears throat> and add this line to the device section save that file and then you will probably need to at least uh, log out and log back in but that should take care of your brightness so uh, Debian, there are some conflicting, some conflict, conflicting information online. It, it, it makes Debian a little bit more tricky to, um, or trickier to debug and get everything working properly. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope I was able to clarify a few things. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.